You know what the worst part about cleaning your own car is? You see everything. Every teeny little detail, every scratch, every blemish, every dent, and it drives me nuts. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Typically I clean my truck myself during the spring, summer, and fall time, but around the winter I get a little bit timid. I don't want to be standing outside in the, in the snow just wiping down my truck with water. It gets a little bit cold, but it's finally warm enough now to where I can get out and I can clean it myself and I'm not freezing, my hands aren't icing up, and this is what I noticed. So it's pretty noticeable on the tailgate right here, but if I zoom in, all of these teeny little yellow dots, all of this is called brake dust, and it all accumulates from iron coming off your brake rotors and other cars' brake rotors, and it gets all over the truck, and it turns into these teeny little yellow rust spots. This brake dust accumulates all over the back of my truck, all over the wheel wells, um, even sometimes in the front from other cars' brake dust coming up and getting onto the front of your car, and the second water hits it, starts rusting. It's especially bad right here behind the wheels, all along the side step, it's just all over that. This piece right here, this is even like a plastic protective film and it's still even all over that. So it's not even like, it doesn't even have to land on the paint. It can go anywhere and it's gonna get all over there and start to rust. So because I'm so picky about it and I hate seeing that stuff all over my truck, I started looking into it and I found this stuff. Um, this stuff's called Iron X, it's from CarPro. And basically what it's supposed to do is break down all of that metal brake dust that gets all over your trucks or your cars. And it's supposed to dissolve it and just basically wash it away. So that's what I wanted to do in this video. Test out this Iron X solution, see if it works as well as advertised and it actually breaks down those iron particles and hopefully gets them off of my truck so that the truck's ready for the spring and the summertime adventures. All right, so step one is wash the surface, check. Step two, shake the bottle well. I mean, it shook a little bit. I wouldn't say I shook it well, but this should probably be good enough. I don't think it takes too much. Step three is spray on, wait three to five minutes while contaminants change color to purple red. That'll be interesting. And step four, rub in with a damp soft sponge, avoid drying under direct sunlight. And step five, rinse well with water. Okay, so step one and two are done. Um, now it's time to spray it on, see if it works. It's supposed to be cherry scented. Um, <coughs> It's not cherry scented. <laughs> oh, that smells awful. <laughs> Definitely not cherry scented. <laughs> oh man. It's like toxic smelling. It's like a, like a nail salon, hair dye kind of chemical reaction, Chernobyl, awful kind of smell. Who invents this stuff? I'm thinking I'm gonna do this in a couple different steps. I'll just do like four sides. That way I can get this on and off before it dries and the sun's not baking it onto the paint, which probably wouldn't be good. Okay, so I guess I'll let that sit for about five minutes or so. Um, I don't have a soft sponge, but I do have a soft cloth. Wipe it down with that and see if it uh, makes a difference. So you can see it just streaking all down the side right now. That's hopefully a good sign that it's working. Definitely some areas that turn faster than others where some more of that brake dust is at. Um, check out this place back here, this is cool. It's like super purple in there. Kinda cool looking. There's a bunch inside of this crack right here too, right by the headlight. Definitely a place iron could get built up. I don't know, I'm actually kind of digging this purple, like the streaks down the side. Maybe I'll just let the sun bake it on there and it'll just be a, a white and purple paint job. It's cool, right? Let me know. See this? Bam! Ooh, clean! I'll give you a better visual. All along the body of the truck right here is nice and clean. It's shiny, looks good, no contaminants. Remember on this side when I was showing you this side step rail and it was super bad? Look at it now. Completely clean and white, except for some paint chips. Completely clean. Up here by the front light, 
There's a bunch of stuff inside of here, inside that crack. All of that is pretty much gone, so that did a good job there. Now I will say there are still a few areas that have a couple spots that may take a second coat, but it's taken a lot of that off. All right, so with the entire truck done, I ended up using about half a bottle, so I've got maybe one more use in this. Uh, there were a few spots that I kind of doubled up on, just to, some spots that were a little bit worse than others. And if I'm being completely honest, it performed pretty much as expected. There were a few little particles, a few little areas that were like, where the rust was a little bit deeper and it didn't do quite as well there. But I kind of noticed that from the reviews. There were some people who said it, it did really well, some people who said it didn't do as well as expected. A lot of people said they would follow it up with a clay bar, uh, but I'm not gonna get that intense with it. I mean, my truck's 10 years old, so. There's bound to be a little bit of rust on there anyway, especially considering they salt the roads in Utah. So yeah, overall, definitely something that I would use again, um, especially considering I have a white car. It shows up on white cars like crazy. Uh, but yeah, I'll throw a link for it in the video description down below just in case you guys want to check it out. One thing I will say about this stuff is it actually does smell awful. I mean, I don't recommend at all smelling it. Um, I made the mistake, so learn from my mistake. Don't smell it. If you decide to smell it, You've been warned. Thanks a ton for watching. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. I'll see you next time.